watched 300. I was so inspired by King Leonidas and his 300 Spartans. The way Leonidas is portrayed in the movie is so compelling. He's full of raw energy and ready to take on this world for the cause he believes in. Where bowing down and bending your knee to Xerxes isn't an option. Odds were against our King Leonidas, but he refused to become a victim of circumstance. He fights for his people until the very end of his life. A true man of value and a symbol of masculinity. There is so much to learn from them about self-discipline, resilience, pushing our limits to unbound territory, something that the average man in the modern times lacks. I'm gonna train like a Spartan for six months and document my journey. I wanna follow King Leonidas's footsteps and train my mind to build a body that I'm proud of. For the Spartans, developing a good physique comes along the way of discipline, training their bodies for functionality and sheer devotion to their goals. Stamina and endurance was their main focus. So even for the Spartans, it was a marathon, not a sprint. Manufactured by 300 years of Spartan warrior society to create the finest soldiers the world has ever known. The Agogi, as it's called. I can't bathe in wine and go to a Agogi. But what I can do is integrate their training into my lifestyle and build a modern approach of becoming a Spartan. I'm gonna move forward with my technique and stick to the original Spartan regiment as much as possible. I'm not from a military background, nor do I want to go into the military. I'm doing this for myself, to take my fitness to the next level and inspire all of you along the way. So let's become a Spartan together. So anyways, this is my plan to become a Spartan and what steps I'm going to take to get closer to my goal. First is the diet. The Spartans didn't eat for pleasure, they only ate for survival. So slowly, I'll cut out all the junk food from my diet. It's gonna be really, really hard, but I'll do it. Slow and steady, I'll cut out all the junk food. I'll eat more fruits, raw vegetables, fish, meat, and increase my protein consumption and lower my carbs. Basically, I'm gonna adopt an ancient diet. They used to eat a lot of raw fruits, vegetables, meat, whatever you can find in the woods. After I follow this protocol and a strict discipline, I'm gonna try the Melas Zomos. What's Melas Zomos, you ask? It is translated to black broth. It was a staple diet in ancient Sparta. To drink black broth feels like a punishment to the average person. But for the Spartans, it was a regular. A man from Sybaris, Italy, tasted the Spartans' black broth and remarked this violent disgust. Now I do perceive why it is that Spartan soldiers encountered death so joyfully. Dead men require no longer to eat. Black broth is no longer a necessity. So yeah, black broth is a disgust to eat. And I'm sure any online recipes that I try to find is not gonna be 100% accurate, but I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be fucking disgusting. So let's try it. So the second constraint is stamina and agility. They walk valleys and cover great distances with their shields, spears and armors and their bodies. And at the end of such walks, they still had the energy to fight off their enemies. If that is not a sign of god level stamina, then I don't know what is. They put emphasis on speed and agility while maintaining their stamina. To increase my stamina, I'll run for at least 5 kilometers every day, which I can do right now. But I'm gonna upgrade that along the way and run for at least 10 kilometers after 2 to 3 months. Apart from that, I'll also go to hikes and treks and challenge myself to push my limits. For speed and agility, I'll do HEAT workout. HEAT workout stands for High Intensity Interval Training. You see athletes do HEAT workout to increase their speed and reaction time to perform better in their respective sports. Well, similar to that, I'll do HEAT training two times a week. It is advised to stay within a limit of two times per week because anything more than that can cause joint problems. You don't want joint problems on wall, do you? And the third constraint is muscular strength. For warriors, you need slow twitch functional muscles to last longer in the battlefield. 
Fast twitch muscles were well, not that useful for them because they wear out very easily and that's not how you win a war. If you see sculptures and written transcripts, it is revealed that the Spartans did train with weight but their weight training was much more curated and focused on functional strength. So they did go to the gym and after all the term gymnasium originated in ancient Greece. So that makes a lot of sense. So going to the gym and integrating calisthenics workout is the way to go to build real functional strength. By the time I upload this video, my Spartan journey would have already been started. So at the end of this year, I'll reveal my journey from the start to finish. I'll be documenting my whole journey on my Instagram and I'll give you insights on my diet, my training, my mindset, meditation, devotion, share some before and after pics with you guys, give you more insights and much more content. So if you're a fan of Spartans and are interested in that kind of stuff, then make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any Spartan regimen and more awesome content that I post. If you want to follow my journey of becoming a Spartan in 6 months, then you can follow me on Instagram. Now, to achieve all this, I need to have a lot of motivation and self-discipline. So I made a video about my system of productivity, taking sufficient breaks, managing my tasks and all that good stuff. So if you're interested in that, click here to watch that video. I think it'll help you.